Good morning everybody and welcome back to my uni vlogs. Today is Wednesday, I'm only in two hours today which it hurts me to commute there and back for two hours but we're going to deal with it so yeah I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. So today's uni attire I've gone very comfy because I'm past caring about what I'm wearing for uni. I've gone for a red lip this morning because it's getting cold and I'm feeling a red lip with this outfit so yep yeah. i've then got my uh, feeler vintage sweatshirt on which is from block vintage usual jewelry um tiffany necklace jeans from top shop and then i've got my feeler disruptors on so yeah a very chilled cash outfit because i can't be bothered but yeah that is what i am wearing you're also probably thinking chloe where's your today's vlog because don't you go to uni on tuesdays and the answer is yes i do go to unis on a tuesday um, I didn't vlog yesterday purely because on Monday I went on a night out. We went to go see Dick and Dom at Quigs, which I'm going to insert some clips for you here. since I was little, since they did Dick and Dom in the bungalow and we were all screaming bogeys and it was just, it was a really good night. Um, but then I had a 9am on Tuesday, didn't I? I wasn't in the best state, I'm not going to lie. I'm very proud of myself for actually going in because I was this close to not going in. Um, but I did go in and I wish I'd have vlogged yesterday actually because we did a really fun like photo shoot with all the class but I just didn't pick the camera up, did I? Just didn't, I just wasn't in the best mood and then I came home and slept. Um, but I'm still tired this morning, but I'm getting better. <laughs> um, but yes, I've just been, I'm just going to be really honest with you now, I've just been in a bit of a weird mood about uni, like I'm not going to lie, I kind of don't want to be there. Um, which I know is silly because it's my final year, like I might as well just, obviously I'm carrying on anyway, but I might as well just get it over and done with But like every time I go to do uni work, I'm just getting really like in a bad mood and I'm just... I'm just not feeling uni anymore, like, can I be finished now? Like, if I'd have done a gap year, I wouldn't have gone back, like, I'm going to be honest, because I'm just a bit... I've, I think it's just because I've had that long off not doing uni work, and now I'm doing uni work, I'm just like, why am I doing this? Um, it's a bit shit, I'm not going to lie. I've just been feeling a bit down, a bit down about life, basically. Um... Yeah, just not being myself, which people can tell, like, as well, I just feel like a lot has changed recently in my life, like, I'm having a new outlook on life, uh, it's a positive one, don't get me wrong, but like, I'm just, I feel like I'm maturing, which is weird because it's me, um, but I'm just realising, like, who my true friends are, who actually wants to spend the time with me, um, all stuff like that, so... Yes, I'm hoping today's going to be a more positive day and I'm definitely feeling better. Um, as I said, I've got my production project for two hours today, which I've got to go in and tell them what title I'm doing my project on, which I still haven't decided how I'm going to word it to them. Um, I'm just going to explain my idea and hope that they can help me find a title for it. Um, and I'm going to tell them that I've emailed some people about it. Um, and I think we're looking up how to write a research report because I've never written in my life. And it's like, that's kind of like my dissertation in a way. Um, so... I'm going to set off for the bus in like, what time is it, 15 minutes and we'll be going to a uni. Fun times, PS, pray for me for this red lipstick, I really do hope it stays on, but knowing me, it's going to go everywhere as soon as I step outside the door. 
it's October 3rd, and if you don't get that reference, where have you been? Because clearly you haven't watched one of my all-time favourite films. Uh, if you don't know Mean Girls, it's Mean Girls Day. It's the bit where um, Aaron turns around to Katie and he's like, what's the date? It's October 3rd. That's today. So that's just kind of brightened my day. I love, that's like the tweet. I look forward to tweeting every year. I just love it. <laughs> small number of video clips because it takes a while to digitise the old silly film that we have. Um, really, and I, and I should have uh, brought this up for the BMT one actually, but that resource could be really useful, particularly for some kind of um, uh, 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 film video type stuff that you might use. If we use our kind of that for, for, oh, 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 oh. for uh, um, a student production, on that website it's got the details of the artist, some weird and wonderful stuff about what he is or isn't allowed to put up online. Yeah. But um, yeah, Rachel Thornton, um, either her or the archivist, was doing cryptography in April 1880. Um, however, we do have some slightly more modern stuff. And something I usually start with at this point. Because I do, but I think it should, you know, work in that through a little bit. And I do. So I am finally, finally, <laughs> finally back home now after a two hour journey. I don't know why it took me so long. I think it's because like, um, it's like prime time for everyone to be picked up from school. And also it's Varsity today, which if you're not from Leeds, basically Varsity is like a big sport event where like all the sports teams compete. It's like Leeds Beckett versus Uni of Leeds. Um, Leeds Beckett have won 14 years in a row. <laughs> it's going to be 15 this year. Um, but yeah, we are undefeated champions and we're going to continue that way. Um, so everyone is out tonight celebrating that. I am not because I don't live in Leeds anymore and um, it's just harder for me to get, it's just harder for me to get places. So yeah, I'm not going to be celebrating that. I'll be celebrating via Snapchat and Instagram and everything else. I'll be celebrating online with them basically. Um, like most of my life is online <laughs> um but yeah today we've just had the two hour seminar uh the first hour there was the librarian talking to us about how to use the online system and like help with like our research reports and everything which was very beneficial i was really happy you came in so now i actually feel more aware of what i'm doing like um i had no idea what i was doing but then i had a talk with my supervisor and everything and i think everything is gonna be okay i'm hoping and praying uh, so i'm not stressing just yet um i'm also very happy with this lipstick it ha this has been it after what time did i leave the house i left the house at like 10 to 9 and it's currently five like just past five past three i haven't reapplied or anything it, it has not budged i'm buzzing like this is like happy about this and yeah, a lot of people have been saying that I overline my lips, but no, this is my natural lip line. So, I mean, if I was an expert at overlining, I probably would overline them, but I don't. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and when I got home, I had a parcel for me, as always. There's always parcels for me at my door uh, from misguided. So I'm going to uh, open it and then show you what I got. So the first thing I got was this bag. How cute is this bag? This is, I'm really apologising about the lighting, but I'm currently sat with my window behind me. I just haven't rearranged the camera, so apologies for that. Um, but I got this bag from Misguided. It is the Ring Detail Backpack. Um, I just thought it'd be perfect for uni because I'm fed up of, like, I do love my Oasis bag, don't get me wrong, but, like, I'm in uni hardly any hours a week. And, um... I don't want that one getting ruined and also I'm fed up with switching bags like I'm constantly moving my work stuff and my uni stuff and like I'm forgetting things so I'd rather just have a separate bag so that's what I got this for. It is too weird which I don't know how it's going to cope if it rains which it will in England because that's what it's like um, but we'll see but yeah it's got this really cute ring detailing on here and then you open it with the two, there's two poppers and then it's just a big um, chucking backpack so yeah. I got that. It's very slight structured as well, which I do like. Also got the uh, Arisha off the shoulder crop jumper in black because um, I just saw it and fell in love. I wanted to try the off the shoulder style out, so why not? Um, I got this in a medium to large. I hope it fits. I mean, it does look quite big, 
but yeah it's just this basic off the shoulder that you can see black jumper to wear like this and then have a cute little bra let's show enough i might wear it in tomorrow's in tomorrow's video for i might wear it tomorrow to uni um so yeah i got that also um because i buy black everything as you already know um I'm currently cooking some, I better go check on them actually because I can't remember what time I put them on. I'm currently cooking, my hair is doing my head in at the minute. You know when you're just a bit annoyed, like it's in your way, it's what it's doing. Um, I've just put in some potato waffles to have for my dinner because it's currently 3 o'clock and I haven't eaten since 10 o'clock this morning. Don't do that kids because you get a headache. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm waiting for them to cook. I'm going to eat them and then probably do some more research for uni because that's what I need to be doing. So, oh, and I need to also check the presentation that I'm going to do in tomorrow's um, creative media lesson. So now my task of the day is to sort out my bedroom because, oh, well, you know when you've just been so busy that you haven't had time to clean or organise anything, you've just thrown everything everywhere. Yeah, that's what my room looks like. And it's a mess. So I've got two bin liners. One's obviously going to be my bin and the other one is going to be for clothes because I need to have a big declutter basically because I've just got too much and I'm not wearing half of the stuff I've got. And there's no point in it clogging up my wardrobe because as you know, my wardrobe's literally like half a wardrobe and a little tiny bit. So I ain't got room. So I'm going to have a big sort. This lipstick's coming off but... Ah well, um, but yeah, I'm going to have a big sort out. I'll show you bits while I'm doing it um, and we'll see how much I actually get rid of because I'm a hoarder. So we're going to see how um, resistant I can be and how how much I actually get rid of because knowing me, I'll probably keep everything. So I'll be like, I need it, I'm going to wear it. But she never does. <laughs> so that has now all disappeared. Um, a big glass of pop because well deserved because I've just like thrown away about two or three bags of stuff that I do not need in my life um, so they're all on stage ready for the car boot and now I'm just eating does anyone ever make these because they are so nice like I'm not so obsessed um hi Ellie I'm having a quarter life crisis just letting you know I can tell <laughs> Ellie came in and she was like are you alright I thought she was having a really, like, intense declutter. But she was like, no, I'm having a crisis. <laughs> I'm just contemplating life right now, especially because Uni's like, Uni Wait, went to me. Sit down. Uni went to me today, right? They went, I'm just, Uni went, ignore them. Uni <laughs> went to me today, they went, um, oh yeah, we're gonna, we need to go to this graduate's fair. You need to start looking for jobs. <laughs> you bought a job? I don't even know what I want to do. I have a job, yeah, but I mean, like, an official, like, going to be doing for 40 plus years rest of my life and I don't like that thought because I don't want to be in a job for the next 40 years <laughs> I, don't, okay. I don't like the thought I want to be a child in can I swap oh my god I want to do Freaky Friday and swap a day with you me? yeah you go to uni and I go to college I'd love to do that it's okay. Freaky Friday start warping now au revoir au revoir au revoir love you bye right in today's video here because I am not doing anything else this evening I'm going to eat this and then probably have my tea and then go to bed because I'm proud of I've got a long day tomorrow. So yes, my room's looking a lot more presentable. And yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you have all enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>